Well, hello everybody, it's Artist King, and of course, I'm back with another video. So today, I hope that everybody's doing good. I hope you're having a good day. If you're watching this at night, I hope your day was wonderful and you did all kinds of cool stuff and you had a good, a, a really good day. So today, I um, decided to do a very straightforward type of collage art. Very simple. Anybody could do this. You just need to get some magazine images. You can get a glue stick if you want to use that. Um, you can use a canvas or a canvas board or a sheet of drawing paper, whatever you have, whatever you can afford, you could use that. Um, you could use some um, gel medium to stick the pictures on, or you can use some paper glue that you normally use like in elementary school, um, or some Mod Podge, you can also use that. And on the surface you I used um, my ink pads and I kind of spread some of the ink use in my ink pads you can use ink pads you can use pastels you can use anything you can use acrylic you can put paper on it and do it like a, a mixed media piece before you put the picture on it's up to you anything will do whatever makes you happy when you're doing it just go ahead and do that so I chose this picture which I love I'm, I'm a for people that know me I love plants my house is overrun with plants I can't get enough I buy them I cut leaves off and I set them to, to make more plants because I just love plants so when I found this image I thought it would be appropriate for what I wanted to do so I found that image and then I found two other images that I thought would be kind of interesting. So as you keep watching, and like I said, give the video a thumbs up if you like it, because that helps more people to see my videos. So um, subscribe if you want to also, that's up to you. I'm just trying to encourage you. But anyway, um, as you look and see what I'm doing, today I wanna ask a question to people. What do you do when somebody who you thought was a friend openly lied to you? And the lie that was told is was kind of a setup that if you had inquired about it, you could have gotten in a lot of trouble. What do you do when something like that happens? How do you deal with that person, especially when you confront the person and they look at you and don't even try to defend themselves? Um, just some feedback. You can put some feedback in the comments if you want to. But I just, it, it's something that recently happened to me and it's been on my mind. I just, you know, how do you come back from that? How does a person come back from doing something like that to somebody who pretty much consider them a friend? And how do you deal with people who lie to you? and openly lie to you. They don't even try to hide it. How do you deal with that? When, you know, it's somebody that you feel like you can hang out with or be a little bit that like, could be a bestie or something. It's something that I find myself noticing more and more with people. And a lot of times the lies that they tell, there's no reason to tell it. You know, I mean, I, I could understand maybe somebody say, I'm going to kill you if you don't, Tell me who just drove down the street and you say, oh, I seen Judy drive down the street. You didn't see Judy, but you say that, you know, and they say, okay, I'll let you live. I can understand you saying a lie at a critical time to save your life or maybe to save somebody else's life. But when you just wake up every day and you lie, that's, it just doesn't make sense. So anyway, that was just like a little sidebar here. So, okay. So back to the, 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 the joy, the piece so i found this lady in this fancy yellow ball gown and i thought she would look good standing in the middle of the forest okay and then i found a picture i'm gonna wait till you see it because it looks like she's looking at something or she's looking over in the forest at someone so i found this picture of come on i'm gonna wait till you see it when i put it up
Okay, so I found this picture of a dog with his tongue stuck stuck out. And I thought that was kind of interesting. In the middle of the forest, he's just a big old dog standing with his tongue hanging out. And she's like, oh, kind of dramatic kind of thing. And that's that's pretty much the, well, what I tried to do. To make something like, okay, she's looking at the dog like she can't believe it. And she's all dressed up, the hair's all done up and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to do something that would be slightly dramatic. So I hope this does the trick. So um, I really wanted to find some words to put there, but I couldn't really. At the time, I don't know. Maybe I might have been distracted, but I should have found put some words or something there, so um, so you could kind of see, you know, what like you know something to make you think of what the lay what's going through the lady's mind. But maybe the next time I do one like this, I'll make sure I have some words on there so it can give it more of a dramatic effect. So I hope you like this, guys. I know I know it's very simple. It's very basic. But once again, I'm trying to get you to start creating something of your own. And never compare your work to anyone else. I did that for years and I never would show stuff because I felt it wasn't good enough. So, I hope that this inspires somebody to get up and do something. You know, regardless of what the picture, just make sure, you, you know, the picture says something. That when people look at it, when you finish, they, it, it'll make them ask a question. You know, that, that's how I see surreal art. Like when I see other people do surreal art, and I look at what's on the, pa on the page, I always, it always causes me to ask a question. So... Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to get off of here right now. It's just a couple more minutes to go. And I will let you enjoy the rest of the video. Please remember to like. Give me a thumbs up. That helps me. Like, subscribe. Leave a comment. That also helps me. And share if you care to. And keep coming back. And all my new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. All my returning subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, I'm going to end now. And I will see you next time. Remember, Tuesdays and Saturdays is when I post. So, I'll see you next time on my next video. Okay, guys? So, thanks for watching. Bye now.